Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com and today I'm going to speak about if I think that photography is a male chauvinist world and sexist world. Let's start. Well, every time I speak about things like this uh, or philosophy or reflection or thinking, uh, I get insulted, uh, people spitting on me. So uh, it's your right not to agree with me, but please watch the video until the end, make your own opinion before speaking or before uh, insulting, okay? So, uh, I'm going to speak about this. Is photography a world of male, male uh, chauvinist and sexist? And uh, very often when you say that, many people, male, they say, oh, there are many uh, famous uh, women uh, photographers. Uh, like uh, Dorothy Lange or Anna Atkins or Jared Taro or uh, Diana Arbus or Annie Levovich or Vivian Mayer, for example. Mayer. And uh, yes, yes. But well, in the case of Vivian Mayer, Mayer it's when she was dead that she got famous. But the others, uh, they're just a few, uh, they're not many compared to the amount of male. And uh, maybe because they had really to fight in a, in a matchist world. Uh, Chinese world that to fight and not many were able to uh, to come out and also uh, many were not allowed to uh, do that kind of photography because uh, the husband would not let them or uh, their father or the society itself so uh, when we speak about this there are just a few but even though this is not the the thing I want to speak about I, I don't want to speak about famous photographer uh, that are women. I want to speak about every day, your every day, my every day. What is the place of women in our everyday world? Okay. And I base what I'm going to say on my experience, what I see when I hear during workshop, what I see on Facebook, when I see in uh, uh, internet forums, what people say and probably think. And uh, we're going to look at this and uh, try to have a reflection together. Many people think that the place of a woman is in front of a camera or next to a camera, but not behind. So for many people, uh, they're annexed to photography now. They can be modeling or they can be hairdressing or they can be a makeup artist or a dressing, but they're not really behind the camera. For many, a woman is not a photographer. Is a po it may be part of photography, but not as a photographer. And actually, when you look at my YouTube uh, statistic or Instagram statistic, but not just mine, many YouTubers have the same statistic, uh, photo uh, YouTube photographers, uh, when they actually see it, I've got about 10% of my uh, YouTube channel that, are uh, that is followed by women. And uh, this is really little. Why this? Uh, because women don't like photography or they don't have the opportunity to do photography or they're not interested in uh, social networks and speak about photography there. I don't know, but the fact that this is about 10% and uh, this is something strange, okay? But let's speak about this 10% that do want to make photography. Many of them, they are limited uh, because of the way male are placing them in the world of photography. And this is something really incredible that uh, they always think of them as next to a camera or in front of a camera but not behind not every not always but very often and even uh, when we speak about professional photographers the typical wedding photographer that works with his wife and they're both photographers and they both do half of the pictures sometimes the woman make more makes more and some wedding the husband makes more but normally they do half and half and still, uh, even the clients that see them working, that see how they uh, get involved in the work, okay? They still think that the photographer is him. And she is like a second photographer, a uh, woman that helps, that uh, an assistant, or carries bag, or things like this. But she's not really unequal. She's not really a photographer. So this is impressive that even clients who've seen them working together, they still think this, even if they've seen that both make pictures together. This is incredible. And then when we look at Facebook groups, uh, sometimes uh, men, well, men, 
uh, ask questions, technical questions, or how to set the camera, or things like this. And people answer with a sentence, well, you should set the camera this way, or you should change this, or you could better this way, all this. Very often, when a woman asks exactly the same thing, the answer is different. The answer is not, oh, you should do this or that. No, the answer is, where do you live? I can go and see you, explain to you in person. So my question is, uh, when I read this, I think, if this guy thinking this girl is too stupid to understand the same sentence he would write for a maid, that a man is able to understand an answer but a woman is not able without being in person? Or is the intention to meet this girl for knowing her and going a bit further than just photography? So in both cases, this is incredible that uh, people react like this. doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. If you answer in one way, you should answer the same way whether it's a male or female. It does not matter. And I see this is not the case. And photography has no gender. You can be male, you can be female, you can be a good or bad photographer whether you're male or female. This is irrelevant. And this is incredible that so many uh, look at photograph male photographer as good photographer and female photographer are just less except some of the most famous. And uh, it's incredible that if a female dedicates herself to photography, most people think there is a husband, a male friend behind, a male partner that is helping, explaining all this. They, they, they seem not to accept that a female is able to be a good photographer without the help of anyone. Or, uh, doesn't need another man to be behind her to help her. Uh, this is incredible. People do not understand this, you know? Uh, when we look at uh, the situation regarding uh, male in photography when they're in front of the camera, uh, you realize that many male, many men actually uh, want uh, females to be in front of a camera because they want to approach them, but not for pictures, sexually approach them. So it's a way of getting close to them. If they are nude, it's better. If they have lingerie, it's even better. And this is incredible because they're using photography for that. I've got no, nothing against uh, nude. I've got nothing against uh, lingerie photography. I just speak about the situation. But then on the other hand, we also have the other way, which is people who criticize that kind of photography. And they say that when a girl is nude in front of a camera, is because a male is actually using them to make picture and exploiting their uh, or using their body sexually to for to make pictures so i think first 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 doing nude photography doesn't have to do with prostitution and if you want to do nude photography just to approach women don't do photography approach them in another way second if you think that a girl that is nude in front of a camera is because a male tells her to be nude in front of, ca in front of a camera, you're not defending women. You're also uh, a male chauvinist. Because what happened? Cannot women decide? Cannot a girl say, I want to be in front of a camera and be nude? Is it always because a male is telling her to, be, to do that? This is incredible. So doesn't matter which way you look at it. Every time women are not allowed to think. People think that don't decide by themselves. They don't decide if they will be nude or dressed or whatever. And this is incredible that some think some people think this. When you see people defending the thing, they defend women telling that posing nude is a way of getting lower. No, this is their decision. They are free to decide. So this is, this is incredible that people don't understand that. That let them decide whether they want to be in front of a camera, doesn't matter how, if, whether they want to be behind a camera or next to a camera, it's their decision. Well, today I got insulted on Facebook. Uh, a guy said that uh, the nude picture I've made uh, with Claudia Reyes it's just because uh, I'm using her sexu uh, in a sexual way. This is incredible because all uh, the projects we are publishing, uh, whether uh, she's dressed or not, uh, that project she prepares, she builds, she creates, and she decides to pose. 
So uh, she is a person who decides uh, to be there, not because I say uh, she should be nude or I say she should do this or that. And it just shows the way people think. They're just chauvinistic male, or in this case, pigs. They think that a woman is not able to decide by herself. This is incredible. While you think that this decision is taken by a, a man, then you're also a chauvinist male. Okay, that's simple. And there are women's better always. Women's better the way we think, the way we act. Uh, if you're going to help someone, it's irrelevant if it's a male or woman. You should help the same way. If you're going to make pictures only of women and they tell you, no, because this is a beauty of women, it's irrelevant. Uh, well, if a woman is beautiful, she cannot be behind the camera, she has to be a model always? This is stupid. This is stupid. Let them decide. And if you only want to make uh, pictures of women, obviously you've got a problem. If you're really a true photographer, you doesn't, don't, don't, for you it's irrelevant whether it's a male or a female. You love photography. Okay? So this is just an excuse. Even sometimes uh, you read uh, things like, or you hear things like, no, this camera is not for women. Why is it for women? No, because it's too heavy. And? Uh, do you think every male can carry a heavy camera the whole day? Not everyone. And do you think that no woman can carry a heavy camer camera the whole day? Of course they are. So it's independent of uh, gender. Uh, a woman can be with a, a very heavy camera using, using a tripod. Or what can I have someone to carry the bag, the same as some male have? Very often you see the husband making pictures on Saturday, after, on Saturday afternoon and the wife is uh, at home uh, taking care of the kids and never the other way around. And he thinks that this is normal because this is a male uh, hobby, it's not for women. This is incredible. Why, why can't a woman go out and make pictures and the husband look after the kids? Or they go together and uh, they look after the kids and have someone to look after the kids. And very often, uh, people are too, think too much thinking that a woman is not able to be a good photographer. So when you tell them that, say, no, no, there are famous women photographers, as I said at the beginning, but this is just an excuse. So we must work on that. Uh, today, 8th of March, this is uh, the International Day for Women, and this is a sad day. This is a sad day that in uh, this century, uh, we still have uh, to fight for that. It's incredible that we still have to fight for equality. It's still incredible that the wages are not the same between uh, male and female. This is incredible that some people think that photography is uh, for male and uh, if a woman is in photography is more as a model or something uh, next to the camera like helping or makeup all this is incredible. So photography is just the same as the rest. It's still a chauvinist, male chauvinist world. And that must be fixed, that must be solved. Okay, so I don't know if you agree with me, maybe you disagree, or maybe you don't uh, feel concerned because you don't think and you don't act this way. If you don't act this way, I congratulate you. And uh, if you feel this uh, video may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here and the small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibault.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I also put links of my gear on Amazon, also links to other parts of my YouTube channel. Also leave you a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye.